Triple H Tech Review back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung DeX feature that's included on the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S5. So I've had this device for a couple of days now and I've been really enjoying it and just happened to be looking in, checking out some of the features on it. And so I decided to start looking at the Samsung DeX feature. Works very well on this device. So if you're not familiar with Samsung DeX, it's an application that Samsung has on some of its smartphones dating all the way back to the Samsung S8 devices, I think, uh, where you use this in conjunction with a dock or a dedicated cable and hook it up to an external, external monitor and it'll make that experience just like a desktop, uh, desktop experience that you would have on a PC or a Mac or something like that. So they've included it with the with this device, this tablet right here, and also it's on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Uh, I have mine set up with a really inexpensive mouse and a real little inexpensive keyboard here that I picked up from Amazon. I don't have the official Samsung keyboard, uh, but you don't need that to uh, use DeX. You can just use it, the tablet as a standalone device uh, for DeX. So. Uh, this, right now, this is in the tablet mode right here. So to enter DeX mode, you go into your drop down here. There's a couple of ways you can go into your menus, uh, but this is the quickest way. Quickest way, uh, you go over and select DeX. Now it'll take a few seconds before it actually enters DeX mode. And once you're in the DeX mode, you'll see that you have a desktop looking uh, device right here. So over here, you have some of your apps over here. Now these can be uh, put in different places. You can add whatever you want to add to the desktop right here. Uh, you can change your background uh, just like you know you do on a regular desktop. Uh, over here, starting at the left, you do have a Dex menu uh, button here, so you can exit Dex right here. You do have Dex Lab, so Dex app, Lab has. Uh, let me read this. Dex Lab, Dex Samsung Dex Labs is an experimental and isn't officially supported. Uh, Dex, Samsung Dex Labs may cause errors with your phone or apps, and some apps may not be resized properly. Labs features will be applied after Samsung Dex restarts. So you got two ticks here. The first one says force apps to resize, attempt to resize apps that, are, that aren't officially sup supported by Samsung Dex. So you can use that to try and resize so all apps are not resizable and then you have a the second one here auto open last app open the last app you were using a, uh, automatically when you start or exit samsung uh, dex so uh, that's what dex lab is and then you have how to use notices and uh, you can contact them uh, the next one over here this is how you get to all your apps here uh, this next one Shows you which apps you have open. You can close them all right there. And then uh, over here, this is just showing something where I downloaded something there. Uh, this is a notification from Twitter. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. And then here you can see, I can see all of my notifications here and I can clear them all right here just like so. Uh, the next one over is going to be Bluetooth connection right there. And it tells me what all I have uh, connected right now. Uh, I have my Wi-Fi here, battery percentage, and then I can get into my quick drop down uh, menu here. And then I have a button here to bring up an on-screen keyboard. I have the ability to uh, control the volume right here. Uh, next one over is a strain shot. I'll take an automatic strain shot. And then I have a, a search button right here. So, and then the time and the date. So an example of how I would, I have been using it. Uh, I've been doing a little, I, I've edited maybe one or two little videos on here on the go. So for instance, I'll open up Power Director. Power Director is a little uh, video editing app for Android uh, that you can use. So if I want to start editing a, a, a video here, 
Say, for instance, this is one that I've already put out. Uh, I can go ahead and start editing that, that. But if I need some information that I want to drop on this video, then I can go over and I can bring up Chrome. And these apps, these two are resizable. I've tried these already. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this. And I'm going to drop it right in here, right beside that. So if, I, if I'm in this video and I need to, say for instance, I, I need this picture right here. I'm just going to right click on it. I'm going to download that picture. Now if I want to drop that picture on this video uh, right in here, I'll go over to my uh, menu here within Power Director. And I'll go over here to Screenshots or Download. And there's that picture right there. So I can preview that picture. And then I'll drop it right in, right there. And then I'll roll my video just to see, once I back out of this, I'll roll my video to see where that picture is. And there's the picture right here. So what I can do is I can resize this picture. I can move it wherever I want. And we'll take a look at it. So there's the picture there. And so I'm rocking and rolling with my editing. Or I can go over here to the to my... Uh, browser here and I can go ahead and look up something else if I want so I'll go over here to Best Buy and I'll go ahead and head over to that site and here's BestBuy.com and I may want to look up something I want to purchase or something that I'm interested in I'm tired of working on my project so I'll go in here. I want to play a game now. So I'm going to open up Alto's Adventure. And I want to play a little game. Now, this is one that's not, uh, that you can't resize. I've tried resizing this one. And it doesn't uh, give me the ability to resize it. But as you can see, I'm running three different uh, apps on here at the same time. And the only thing with this one is not resizable. But you can play games as well. So here's... Alto going on right here. So it does have a few little limitations that I see. Uh, but as you can see, I'm playing it with the mouse as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause this. And I'm going to drop this back out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and just work on my, on my video over here some more. So this is an example of how you can do this. These are just three apps that I chose. But you can work on Word documents, Google Docs. Uh, you can do, you know, what pretty much all you want to do on it. And I think it's a great little, great little device for that. And then you can go back into your, uh, I wouldn't really play games in Dex mode if it was, you know, not unless you want to set it up like that. But if I was going to play games, I'd go back into regular tablet mode and, uh, and play the games like that. So as you can see how fast it exits Dex. And one thing about it, it doesn't heat up or anything like that. If you got a dual, you got a, uh, another monitor, a bigger monitor that you want to run. You can run your, your, you can connect it through USB Type C port right here and run it to another monitor. And then you got a dual monitor set up. Uh, but so far the little tab is great. I'm going to come back and give you my impressions on using the device, give, tell you about battery life, uh, just things of that nature, house performing and things like that within a few days. All right, guys. Will H, Will H Tech Review. Catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.